Sheila. Good morning. How are you, Marianne? Yes, I'm doing very well. And uh, particularly because I'm speaking to you today, I'm very happy about that. Well, I'm speaking to you, so I'm excited about that too. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I actually cherish our friendship very much um, because we were met now a few years ago. And um, during the this time, you have uh, prayed for me during some very challenging times. And I know that you're love and your prayers are there uh, with me and my daughter. And so I just want to publicly thank you for that because it really has made a difference and lifted me up. And uh, thank you for that. I love you. Yes. Okay. Well, I love you too. And remember, that's why we're here. You that's are true. my sister. And so, you know, if we can't lift each other up uh, during the times of seeming challenge, then what's a friendship and a sister for? Right. So it's my pleasure, and I'm glad that I've made even a minuscule uh, touch upon your life and made it just a tad easier to walk through the seeming valleys. Yes. And uh, so God bless you. You've come through, and you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so do you. So thank you once again. Uh, now, I know all about you, but some of our viewers might not. So um, can you just tell us a little bit about, about you and your journey, and how did you find your thought about your current work? Well, I found New Thought actually because I was in a job that I hated. <laughs> and I wanted to leave, but I didn't know how. Uh, it was my first job after college. I was a fraud investigator. And I heard this guy on the radio down in South Florida, Les Brown. Yes. Who was, you know, beginning his speaking career. And I turned on the radio in the car. And on my way to work, he'd say, many of you are going to work and you hate your job. More people suffer heart attacks on Monday morning than any other day of the week because they're going to jobs that are hard. I thought, I don't want a heart attack. <laughs> and so I found the courage to uh, leave that job. And then I sought that guy out, Les Brown. Yes. I sought him out and I said, what is all this positive stuff you're talking? So he invited me to church one Sunday. The church in Miami, the Universal Truth Center, was being started up. And uh, I joined, I mean, I, I went there and uh, the rest is history. Wow. I never left. I never left. The church is still there. It's now led by the Reverend Charles Taylor. Uh, it was established and founded. The pastor emerita is the Reverend Dr. Mary Tumkin, as you know, who is a giant in New Thought and a big champion of INTA, the International New Thought Alliance. So yes. I'm very, very, very grateful to have found the teaching because it saved my life. Wow, 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 that's incredible. So you're actually the president at the Universal Foundation for Better Living also, right? Yes, I'm the president of the foundation having succeeded the Reverend Dr. Johnny Coleman, who is the founder, mm -hmm. and Dr. Mary Tumkin, who I just spoke of, who is the immediate past president. So now I'm the president of the organization known as the Universal Foundation for Better Living. And by the way, let me say, join us in Miami, July 17th through the 21st, for the Panorama of Truth Conference. Our theme is bold enough to transform and not conform. So if you wanna see some things transform both in your life and in the world, then come and understand how you are the one to make the change and how you can do it. Come and be equipped with strategies and techniques that can help you. Susan Taylor, the, 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 the editor-in-chief, the former editor-in-chief, uh, Emerita, actually, Emerita, uh, Editor-in-Chief Emerita, is going to be there on opening night, and Danny wow. Glover, Danny Glover's going to be there, and you know, Danny, yes, I saw that, that is so exciting, yeah, 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 and a big gala dinner, and so we're going to be having a conversation with him, and we're going to do a salute to the Reverend Dr. Mary Tumpton, and it's just going to be amazing, Jim Blake will be there, the CEO of Unity Worldwide, he will be wow. there, uh, as well. I'll be there yes. uh, having messages of healing. You know, if you're having issues in your body, come and talk to people who've been given diagnosis, and I'm one of them. Yes. I am one of them. I was given less than six days to live yes. years ago, and I'm still here. So yes. if you want to know the secrets, come on out to the Panorama yes. of Truth Company yes. in Miami. Yes. Yeah, man, you can just get the information at UFBL, UFBL, Universal Foundation for Better Living org. Okay. Yes, perfect. I was going to ask you about that because I'm so excited about that appearance and you are so busy and just so devoted to new thought and the teachings that right immediately following that you're going to Nashville to the Interworld Congress. So can you right. talk a little bit about yes. that, about your appearance? Yes. I know that your topic is living an authentic life. 
Yes, living an authentic life. One of the things that I find is that many of us are sick in our physical temple, if not in our emotional state, in our bodies, in our pocketbooks, in our relationships, because we're not living from a place of authenticity. We're not being who we really are. We're hiding uh, in, in some ways. We're hiding what we're really feeling. We're hiding our no by saying yes. Uh, we're hiding. I don't want to go there with sure. I'll go. I'll join you. Yeah. That's yeah. saying yes. When you mean no. Yeah. 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 And so that's living inauthentically. So I at the international new thought Alliance conference in Nashville, where I will be speaking on Thursday, the 25th. So if you're oh, in the, the Nashville yeah. area, I'd like to say to your audience, if you're in the Nashville area, uh, or even if you're not, come in for the uh, International New Thought Alliance Conference. That's an organization um, that has been around for more than a century. Yeah. And begin on the 22nd of July, and they conclude on the 25th of July. And right. that's in Nashville. And you can get information about that. Is it on their Facebook page, I believe? International yes, it's on Alliance. Facebook. Yes, yes. Yeah. And also the website, but... Um, so have you ever been to Nashville? I've never been. I don't know that I've ever been to Nashville, Tennis. Yes, 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 yes. We hosted a panorama of truth in Nashville at okay. the Opryland Center years ago. So I wow. was there, but I was basically in the hotel. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I hope to I'm see you be there for a few days, and I'm looking forward um, to exploring the, the city a little bit, too, you know. Uh, yeah. It's so exciting, I think. I mean, it I is exciting. It's supposed to be a big music uh, city, city of music. Right, right. So I love music. Yes. And so that's going to be exciting uh, to be in Nashville. Yeah. Uh, and of course, the music at our Panorama of Truth conference is always off the chain, Grammy nominated. Uh, um, um, musicians will be there. I mean, yes. people who are just exceptional in their field, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, yes. So you're, you have a busy summer. Um, and these two conferences I know are going to be amazing. And um, I can't wait to see you again. I'm going to be in Nashville, so we'll be able to connect again. And I will be there. I will okay. be there. And oh. I will be listening. What's your topic? Um, it's living your divine purpose. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we can certainly talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's so exciting. Well, uh, we're just going to make it short and sweet, but um, definitely, um, you know, I look forward to that. And, um, you know, thank you for taking the time to, to speak. I just encourage everybody uh, to check out, uh, you know, to check out your work as well. Um, you know, you have a, a wonderful book out there that's help, helping a lot of people. Yes, 12 Steps to Your Healing. It's available on Amazon. Uh, yes. Yeah, I get quite a bit of feedback. People just working on themselves and diving deep into their own healing issues. So I'm yes. very grateful for that. Yes, yes, me too. It's a great book and it's helped me as well. So thank you for that. Oh, and yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll be posting the um, that little tickler on the screen where people can find out more information about you and about our, the two conferences and everything. So um, thank you once again. And um, I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. I'll see you in Nashville, girlfriend. Yes, girl. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take care. Right, God bless you. you, everyone. Take care now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.